Thank you for that. Yeah. Before we get into our transfer project, I thought I'd share some news with you. I am going to be doing another online course with Cherry Hill Seminary, another fibre art class that will be looking at connecting spirituality and creativity. As you all know, I did one in February and we had a really great time and we've decided to do a second one. So if you're interested in perhaps taking part, have a look in the description, there's going to be a link. I love this kind of work. It's something that I am very passionate about and I get really excited to do. I think that creating this sacred space where people get to really explore their creativity is so special and I hope you'll join me. Spring is here and I am so enamored with this season. The perfume from the blossom is incredible. The textures, the light, the colors are so exciting. I'm beginning to get really sedu seduced by making a botanical and um, plant and natural world inspired designs, which aren't usually my wheelhouse, but I think that I might indulge that desire a little bit. Um, we've been working in the garden too, trying to tidy it up, which is, I guess, what a lot of people do in the springtime. Right, you're perfect on my side. Dad, watch Good your foot. Job, dude. Watch your foot. All right, keep going. Your mirror's perfect. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, this way. Thank you. Bobo, this way. And we had Earth Day. The campus where I worked had an Earth Day event. There were lots of people involved and I always love this event because I tend to be tucked away on the edge of the campus and I don't see students very often and I don't see other faculty and I don't see uh, people who work at the college very often and so these are really great opportunities for me to catch up with people. Another very cool thing is that we had uh, people come and protest. <laughs> really moved by the fact that we did have people protest on campus. I think more and more I'm beginning to see this is really important that we use our voices when we're not satisfied with the system that we're in. Today we're going to do a beginner's embroidery in dark fabric and dark fabric can be a bit of a challenge when you have a design already planned out or that you've bought and you want to put it on darker fabric you can't really use the traditional method which is to either put it in a light box or up against a window or use your tablet to um, get a light source through the fabric and then trace it it doesn't work with dark fabric so there are a few different things you can do all of the materials that i'm using today i'm going to put in the description affiliate link yes today we're going to use transfer paper for this so this is the transfer paper i'm using the brand so you can get them in all sorts of different colors as it as it handily uh, demonstrates here i'm using yellow white would be a good one too and they come like this and there's plenty for one design easily. You could do a ton of different designs. So it works out fairly economical. And what you're gonna do is cut it to the, the size that you're gonna use.
So we've cut our piece of sarol transfer paper to the correct size so that we don't have to use lots of it. And this is the order. So first of all, dark fabric on the bottom. Let me just remove that needle. The first thing we're going to do is tape this just to our surface so that it doesn't move around. It won't take very long to trace, but still. And I'm just going to do kind of a, the bottom and the top there. It doesn't need to be super secure, but just enough so it doesn't move around while you're trying to trace. Make sure that your paper, your transfer paper, has the colour side down on top of your fabric. If you don't do this, you won't see the design. So make sure that that is face down on top of your fabric. And we're going to tape that really quick too. And that's just going to keep it in one place while we transfer the design. And if you don't do this, what tends to happen is especially with a complicated design you want to tape it down because if you don't it'll move around and then your design won't look great then we're going to center our design i can just about see through the layers that i'm relatively centered if you can see i'm using a sort of slightly rounded tipped pencil you could also use a chopstick but i would uh, recommend using something that's slightly blunt when you are transferring onto fabric if you use a very sharp implement, what will happen is it could potentially puncture the design and rip the design. So we want something that's not going to damage the paper. And I'm not going to have a perfect circle, but it will be doing the best that I can. Did it work? So we lift this piece off and we're going to lift this off and see if it came out. And you can just about see it and it looks pretty good.
here it is we finished the design and while i'm happy with it i don't think that the sarol transfer paper is a really good option for embroidery designs unless they're really basic and the reason for that is if you saw in the videos the line is not very sharp and it doesn't last very long so it's great for a short temporary transfer of a design that is perhaps relatively clear and basic but for something more intricate it's not going to work very well i had to go over a lot of the design with a white pencil afterwards and that's not ideal either because often the white pencil will fade over time i would say that if you want to use the transfer paper it's fine but i don't think i would recommend it for something more intricate I'm hoping that the next few months will be a great uh, chance to grow creatively, but also in community with other people who want to be involved in this journey of spiritual practice with creativity. Yeah.